Elastomane pencil box. Couldn't leave without this. Oh, no. Stample! <gasps> Yellman? Where do you think you're going, Stample? I'm... I'm... I'm getting out of here! Stemple. Man, he put up with being Gelman's punching bag for a whole year. That's got to be a record. Yeah, but you know what that means. Gelman will be looking for a new victim. Scatter! Come out, you little cowards! Ain't one of you little geeks brave enough to stand up to me? Even one? <laughs> hey, where did everybody go? You. Me? What's your name, kid? G Gus Griswold, sir. I don't like you, Griswold. Well, I bet you would if you got to know me. <laughs> lots of kids like me. Well, maybe not lots, but some. Please, please don't do this to me. I'm a really nice guy. Well, I'm not a nice guy, Griswold. I'm not a nice guy, and I don't like you. Which means from now on, whenever I see your pale, pasty face, I'm sticking to where it belongs. In here. Any questions? Not right now. Good. See you tomorrow, garbage boy! <laughs> Gus, Gus, are you okay? Uh, I think so. Man, that Gilman guy is such a jerk. Yeah, somebody ought to teach him a lesson. Well, not me, but somebody. Oh, this is terrible, you guys. From now on, I'm going to be picked on by the biggest, meanest guy on the playground. And it's all because I went to the bathroom at the wrong time. Look, Gus, guys like Gilman don't pick on kids when they're with their friends. TJ's right. They're safety in numbers. If we stay close to you, you should be okay. Well, yeah, but how close can you stick? such thing as a buffalo headquarter. Uh-oh. Hiya, Griswold. Know what time it is? Uh, 10.02? Nope. Garbage time. You okay, man? Look, Gus, you gotta stick with us. Oh, it's no use. I can't stay with you guys every minute of my life. I'm doomed, doomed. I say you creamed a jerk. Yeah, right. Gus couldn't cream corn. Well, you could always tell a teacher. Yes, in the hands of a mature adult, the situation could be resolved with complete discretion and delicacy. Gelman, what do you think you're doing? Nothing, Miss Finster. Yeah, right. Well, let me tell you something, Buster. If I ever catch you touching this kid or any other kid on my playground, I'll haul your keister down to Principal Prickly's office faster than you can say detention. Comprende? Yes, Miss Finster. Good. And if you ever tell a teacher on me again, I'll hit you so hard your clothes will hurt. You coming, Gus? I'll catch up with you guys later. I've got to rewind the hamster cage. Gus, it's okay to be afraid of Gelman. Heck, we're all scared of him. Yeah, but he's not picking on you guys. He's picking on me. And if I go out there, it's going to be garbage time. Unless you went out there, but Gelman couldn't see it. What do you mean, TJ? Where is that measly little dork? Upside down, girl. The diggers. Old man playing tetherball. Old man playing tetherball. Oh, uh, don't mind me. I'm just an old man. An old man who plays tetherball. Uh, it'll help here? Maybe I could get plastic surgery or see if my dad could get transferred again. I wonder if Gelman could find me in Bangkok. Oh, for crime and sakes. I've been telling you all along there's only one way to deal with a bully, Gus. Fight back! Fight back? But it'll kill me! Maybe.
Maybe he will, and maybe he won't. But let me tell you something, Gus. The only reason Gilman's picking on you is because you're afraid. Animals like Gilman can smell fear. They feed on it. I say fight back! No, Gus, don't do it. Violence is not the answer. It's never the answer. Violence only begets more violence. Don't listen to him, Gus. Fight the big idiot. No, be peaceful. Fight back. Be peaceful. Fight back. Be peaceful. I appreciate what you guys are trying to say, but this is something I got to figure out for myself. Fight back, fight back, fight back! Be peaceful, be peaceful, be peaceful! I don't like you, Prince Warren, and I'm picking on you from now on. From now on! From now on! Enter. Dad? Yes, Private. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Oh, uh, well, see, there's this little country that hasn't done anything to anyone, and then there's this big country, and it starts picking on it for no reason. What should that little country do? Fight or run away and never go to school again? I mean, go to the UN. Private, let me tell you a little story called World War I. You see, once upon a time, there was a big country called Germany who liked to pick on little countries like Poland and Luxembourg. And none of the other big countries would do anything to stop it. Then one day, Germany attacked a weak little country called Belgium. But little Belgium stood up to big Germany and fought. All the other big countries couldn't believe it. Wow. You see, Private, just because a country's outnumbered or outgunned doesn't mean they don't have a chance. Did we back down at the Battle of the Bulge? Uh, no. You bet your boots we didn't, Private. We don't back down to bullying. If we did, they'd walk all over us. Battles may be lost on the road to victory, Private, but we always keep fighting till we've won the war. Wow, Dad, thanks! Gosh, who'd have thought little Belgium winning over big Germany? Winning? <laughs> they got the stuffing kicked out of them. I can't believe Gus didn't even show up for school today. Poor guy. He's probably halfway to Mexico by now. Hey, look! Where are you going? I'm going to the tetherball court. But gosh, Galvin's over there. He'll squash like a bug. Maybe he will and maybe he won't. But I'm Belgium, and Belgium wants to play tetherball. <laughs> Griswold, I thought you were staying home today. What is it, garbage time already? Sorry, Gilman, but there isn't going to be a garbage time. Not today, not ever. From now on, you're leaving me alone. What? You heard me, Gelman. You can't pick on me anymore. It's over. You mean, you're actually standing up to me? No one's ever had the guts to stand up to me before. Does that mean you're not going to pick on me anymore? No, it means no one's ever stood up to me before. Now stand still so I can beat the living tar out of you. Wait! Okay, Dylan, let's go. Ah! You proved your point. Just fall down. Yeah, I was wrong, okay? Just take the fall, will ya? No way. See, I figured it out. The worst he can do is beat me up. After he's done that, there's nothing to be scared of anymore. Oh, ow, ow, ew. That's the bravest thing I ever saw. Ow, ew, ow. Say goodnight, Griswold. It's Betty by time. That's enough, Gelman. I'm stopping this. Oh, yeah? You and what army? This army! Don't make me laugh. I'll beat the tar out of all of you. Then you'll have to beat us up, too. And us, too. And us. 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 Oh, yeah? Well, I'll just... Just... Oh, forget about it. This is stupid. You most certainly did. And now the horror is over. For everybody. How does it feel, man? Great. Ow. For the most part. You told him what? I, I just thought, well, it was a history discussion, you know. Are you hurt, honey? Not bad. I'm sure I'll be able to see through my eye by tomorrow. But I guess I lost the battle, sir. It looks like you won the war. Come on. I'm buying Belgium an ice cream cone.